everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the word speciesism. That's a term that I had never really heard about or knew anything about before going vegan. And it's something that a lot of people may think means a bunch of different things, but it actually only means one thing and it's basically a whole theory and a whole concept versus just one definition. Um, so I'm here today to kind of explain to you what it actually is. So the official definition of speciesism is the assumption of human superiority leading to the exploitation of animals. It's more about not treating them equally but valuing them equally as humans. The best kind of definition I could find um, that makes a lot of sense to me at least is that speciesism is not about trying to justify treating something differently than we would think is ethical for treating a human just because they have less of a mental capacity than us. Now that was just the definition of what speciesism is, so now I want to get into why this term came to be and why people believe in speciesism and want it to stop. Now all of us humans can agree that we like to be, you know, have freedom from suffering and pain because we feel that physically, emotionally, mentally, and it doesn't feel good. The main aspect of speciesism is that realizing animals can feel that pain too, the emotional pain, the physical pain, every single pain that a human can, but they are just not as capable as telling us that they can feel that pain as other humans can just say, I'm hurting, stop, you know? So why do we let animals suffer and feel that pain when we wouldn't let another human go through that? Now what I just kind of said was more of why we should treat animals better than we do, but a lot of the times when people talk about speciesism they are talking about different species of animals that we treat differently. And it could like how humans are a species and that's what I was kind of just talking about how we treat humans and animals differently, but then there's also the concept that we treat different animals differently, if that makes sense. It's kind of like how in the US, people don't think twice about eating beef or chicken, but everyone starts arguing, getting all emotional when we hear of other countries eating cats and dogs. And really, what's the difference? For example, the Yulin Dog Festival. It's a festival in China where they dogs. And especially this past year and two, um, a lot of people, at least I know, went crazy over that. People in the US that were hearing about this were going crazy. They were donating money to organizations to save the animals. They thought it was so wrong that these people were torturing these animals, that they were cutting off certain limbs while they were still alive, while they were dragging them by their feet. You know, they were doing all this stuff to torture them. It was just so hypocritical to me because they'd be complaining about that stuff as they're eating some chicken nuggets. It's like people seriously don't know that this exact thing happens to cows and chickens and pigs, all other animals in the US every day on a mass scale. And yes, of course I think it's awful that they're doing this to dogs, that should not be happening. But you have to realize you are paying for this to happen to all other animals in the US as well. That no, they are not just getting shot in the head and killed quickly and they had a really good life before, which I still don't think would be right. They, they are being just as tortured and mutilated as those dogs and people just don't see it because companies are very good at brainwashing us into thinking that what they do is right and is moral. So that's just something I want to point out that if you are, live in a different country other than China and you think what they are doing is bad with the dogs, take a look at your own country and seriously find out what's happening because I guarantee you they are doing the same thing to a bunch of different animals and most people are just oblivious to it. And before anyone clicks out of this video and is like, there's a huge difference because cats and dogs are and pets and you know cows and pigs and chickens are not that's not really true that we just have grown up you know hearing that chickens are made to be eaten and dogs are meant to be loved all animals can be trained to be compassionate loving creatures but just because of the way we've grown up in the US where cows are meant to be eaten we treat them as less than our pets because they've always been looked at as just farm animals and just to be consumed and and that's their purpose and that's it. Now even after saying that, a lot of people still believe that they don't have the same capacities as dogs and cats or they can't be as loving, they, they don't feel as much pain. 
um, that they are okay with growing up in farms and getting slaughtered and that's just the way things are. But if you look at really anything about what goes on in farms to them, you'll realize they have just as much feelings as dogs and cats do. When a mother cow gets her baby taken away the day after she has it, she will cry out for days looking for it. And there's so many videos on the internet just about that and showing that she is feeling that pain and you can see it in her eyes and everything. Or when a pig is about to get slaughtered, it knows something is wrong. It might not know it's about to die, but it knows this person is going to inflict pain on me and so it'll try and run away. It'll try and get free, and of course that doesn't happen because they're in super small cages and, you know, humans are more powerful over the animals in those situations. But it doesn't just stand there and let things happen. These cows and pigs and chickens, they, they try to get away in their own way and they try to tell us that they're in pain in the only ways that they can. Now, how do you truly justify killing something that doesn't want to die and is telling you in their own way, in their own language, that they don't want to be hurt? How do you justify that? If you see two people facing each other, the one person is pointing a gun at the other person and the person who's about to die says, I don't want to die. I have a family or you know no stop if they are an innocent person who has not done anything wrong who we don't think deserves to die we probably think it's very unethical and very wrong for the person to shoot them right so even though animals can't say with words stop I don't want to die they are trying to tell us in whatever ways they can by crying out by trying to get away by making other noises things like that and they are innocent creatures who have not done anything anything harmful to anyone ever. And so why is it ethical then to kill them for no reason when we don't have to? Why is that ethical when we wouldn't do that to a human? Now an argument against that would be a lot of people saying we do need to kill animals because we, we need their protein, we need their nutrients to survive. And no, you don't. Just look it up. Go on the internet. Do some research. It's been proven that we don't need animals to get any of the nutrients we actually need daily. So what excuse and just Justification do you seriously have for torturing sentient beings who are just as capable of love and affection as our dear dogs and cats? They are telling us they don't want to die. Just how a dog squeals when you step on its tail and obviously the dog does not enjoy that pain. Cows and pigs and chickens are telling us that they don't like pain either and they're doing it in just different ways than maybe dogs or cats would. If you personally could not torture a dog or a cat and you would feel bad about doing it, don't pay other Others to torture cows and chickens since they are all equally as capable of feeling pain. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope I explained well what speciesism is. So if you learned something and enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be posting videos every Saturday at 10 a.m. from now on. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching and I will see you next time.